I'm Pastor George Borkhardt, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Pastor Borkhardt, do, uh, is my doubting of the forgiveness of sins a sin? This is a good question because it gets to the very nature of what faith is and what faith isn't, and doubt, and our struggle with doubt. If faith is, is only a certainty inside of myself or some... Um, uh, attitude that I have or some knowledge that I have that, 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 that Jesus died for me or some feeling that I have that everything's okay between me and God, then we will never have enough faith uh, to save ourselves. If faith is something us, then we will never, ever have enough us to save ourselves. We will always struggle with doubt if that's all faith is. Um, I'm sort of reminded of Matthew 28. The, the, the apostles at the end of Matthew 28, they, they, are, they go to the mountain in which Jesus appointed for them. He picks, picks the mountain and he shows himself to be alive. And they worshiped him and they doubted. Now, some translations say they worshiped him and some doubted because the translators don't know what to do with what the text actually says. They worshiped him and they doubted. That's what it says. How can they worship Jesus and doubt at the same time. Well, we know, as Lutherans, that's simul justus and peccator. Same time saint and sinner. At one time, they completely believed with all their heart that Jesus rose from the dead. They received from Jesus the forgiveness of sins. And at the same time, they it was too good to be true. This couldn't be, God couldn't be this for them as to save them. They worshiped him and they doubted. See, see faith, faith cannot only be the feeling that you have inside of you, because that's all you. Faith is receiving the promise of the gospel, receiving the forgiveness of sins, receiving Jesus. If you have that faith, you have everything, because it, it race, rests and centers upon the gifts of Jesus. I forgive you all your sins. Uh, Jesus died for all your sins. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in this Christ Jesus unto life everlasting. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. The body and blood of your Lord and Savior strengthen and keep you steadfast in the one true faith unto life everlasting. You know what the answer to all of that is. Faith. And it's a simple amen. Amen, my sins are forgiven. Amen, the body is, of, of Jesus is in my mouth for the forgiveness of my sins. Amen, amen, amen. Three amens. Never enough amens. Never enough forgiveness. Never enough Jesus. One of my professors at the seminary used to say, big Jesus, big faith. See, if Jesus is your faith, if that's all your faith is, receiving Jesus, well, then you have everything. You have everything. You have faith that can move mountains, faith that which is unshakable, faith which will go on even unto eternal life. If faith is something in you, some certainty that you have, well, then you'll always be doubting, always be uncertain about whether you have enough faith. See, faith, Faith is a very righteousness by which we are counted righteous before God, say the confessions. My favorite quote. Faith is the worship of God, which receives from Jesus his gifts. Faith lays hold of the promise. And faith is all about beginning and end Jesus. And there's no doubt there when we're talking about Jesus. Because is Jesus a big enough God? Is he a good enough God to save even someone the likes of me? Of course he is. You too. If he can save me, he can certainly save you. And so Jesus uh, receives this man who has a son who's severely sort of uh, demon-possessed. It looks like, uh, what is that? It's uh, Mark 9. The guy's foaming at the mouth. And Jesus looks at the, the father and he says, listen, um, if you believe... All things are possible. Well, he, sort of Jesus tees it up for him. He, you, you're waiting for the home run to be hit next. And the guy looks at Jesus with all the faith in the world. He's come to Jesus for this healing and says, Lord, I believe. Help now mine unbelief. And what does Jesus do with that? He heals the boy right there on the spot. You, that's faith. Lord, I, I got enough me. I got enough, I got enough me. Uh, uh, you alone save. Help me with what's me and you save me. Lord, I believe. Uh, all you. Now help me with what's me. Help now my unbelief.
I'm Pastor George Barkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short.